I love it. Okay, so for those that might not know what EOS, or for those that might need a little bit of a refresher, give us the, tell us what EOS is. Yeah, you bet. So EOS, it's an acronym for the Entrepreneurial Operating System. So just as I shared there, EOS is an operating system. And so again, our focus is on entrepreneurial organizations with 10 to 250 employees. That's kind of the sweet spot. And so about 20 years ago, I had an aha moment. And the aha moment was that there are operating systems for a computer. Uh, why can't there be an operating system for a business and how to run a business? And so that's exactly what it is. It's a way to help that entrepreneur run their business like a Swiss watch and get everything they want from their business by implementing this operating system. And then I always lovingly like to call it a system for managing human energy, because at the end of the day, what it does is it gets all the people in your organization rowing in the same direction. It's all that energy going in one direction. And with that, you could uh, conquer the world or whatever part of the world that you want to conquer. So why did you create it? Uh, well, I go back to where I started, which is this obsession about helping entrepreneurs. So uh, when I was in my late 20s is when I really got my calling and realized that I'm here to help entrepreneurs get everything they want out of their businesses. But I created it to uh, end pain and suffering, for lack of a better term, because uh, when I took over the family business, it was certainly helping my dad turn around that family business. I was a member of Young Entrepreneurs Organization at the time, now known as EO, the Entrepreneurs Organization. And I found myself helping a lot of my EO brethren, if you will. And I just had this knack for helping entrepreneurs. And so um, I created it because I have a passion for helping them accomplish all the things that they want to accomplish. And it's what I obsess about every minute of my working life for certain. Well, it's great that you do it because we need more of that happening right now. We have fewer entrepreneurs today than we did in 1975. Isn't that crazy? Would you ever think that? That's scary. I did not know that statistic. Yeah. That hurts Okay, so there's components within EOS. What are the six components? Yeah, and so um, the six key components of EOS, we call the EOS model. And so if you picture kind of a circular looking model um, with six equal pie pieces, if you can imagine that in your mind, where that stems from, and so each thing we'll talk about is it's all about solving a problem, okay? And so the problem here was as I was working with my clients, as I obsessed all through my 20s about what made entrepreneurs and business, businesses successful, I would hear and observe all of these issues. And I lovingly like to call them the 136 issues that all entrepreneurs face. Well, the reality of it is, after about 10 years of hearing that, I realized that those 136 issues kind of had six root causes. And so the six key components are really taking a holistic approach to solving an organization's problems. And so I'll quickly share what they are. They are vision, people, data, issues, process, and traction. And so you can learn more about everything I'm going to talk about at eosworldwide.com. So, so please know that you can access everything I'm going to share with you for free. And it's also in the book Traction. But those six key components, the aha was listening to all of these issues. My brain has this way of seeing patterns and trends. And I saw that the roots of all of these issues fell in one of those six areas. And to the degree I could take a holistic approach to helping that entrepreneur in their organization and go to the root of their issue and solve it there, the 136 issues just kind of fell away. And so it was all about strengthening that vision component, making sure that the vision and plan for the organization was crystal clear to every single person in that organization. And again, everyone was rowing in the same direction. It's making sure that every single person in that organization is the right person in the right seat, truly great A player, rock stars, all the wonderful terminologies. Data was all about having the right data, a handful of numbers at your fingertips so you have a pulse on your business at any given time. Issues was all about building a muscle top to bottom in the organization so that issues would not linger. 
oh. process was all about really dialing in the business model of the business and running that business like a Swiss watch. And traction was bringing discipline and accountability. And so again, taking all those symptomatic 136 issues and then focusing on the six key components, the roots of those issues, strengthening those roots, everything kind of fell into place. And that entrepreneur and that leadership team ultimately got everything they wanted from their business. Okay, can you explain then, go into a little bit more detail on your visionary and, and integrator concept? Yes, yeah, so that, um, so I wrote a book uh, with my co-author, Mark Winters, called Rocket Fuel. And, and so this is all about the concept that I came to call the visionary integrator concept. And this goes back, I was 27 years old when I had this aha, and it was in the family business when we were doing the turnaround, I was structuring the organization, doing a restructuring, and I realized that my dad was what I came to call the visionary and I was the integrator. And so that has spawned now almost 30 years later into hundreds of thousands of companies using that terminology. Again, the problem that I solved with that is if you are a true entrepreneur out there, I call you a visionary, a visionary entrepreneur. You're one of these wild and crazy people. You're builders of things. You're very creative, lots of ideas. And the challenge and the problem is when a visionary entrepreneur is left on their own to build their organization without an integrator to counterbalance them, there is chaos. And rarely does the company ever grow to the next level. And so the visionary integrator concept, if you picture an org chart, for lack of a better term, there's the visionary at the top, then the integrator, that is this person that runs the day-to-day -day of the business. They are the glue. Like I said, they counterbalance that visionary that then frees that visionary up to frankly run, to grow, to build, to let their ideas just absolutely flow. And that combination and organization is what Mark and I came to call rocket fuel. And in saying that, as you're listening out there, if you truly, after hearing that, believe you're a visionary entrepreneur, I urge you to go out and find your integrator. It will take you to the next level. At the same time, some of you out there are truly integrators and you're really not true visionary entrepreneurs and your opportunity is to go hitch your wagon to a visionary and that will create rocket fuel for you. Mm -hmm.